In this video, we feature some of the most tastiest, super affordable, traditional Guatemalan breakfast foods. Yum. joining us on another journey. Today, we're in Guatemala. Coban. If you're new to the channel, this is April. Hola. And I'm Wayne. We do a video every Thursday, so hit that subscribe button and smash that bell. Sit back, relax, and, and enjoy, enjoy the, the journey. journey. We're on a adventure today. We left Flores, Guatemala, and we are heading to Coban. In order to get there, we're gonna have to take a ferry. A different kind of ferry than when we were in North Carolina. Yes. Card above, American ferry versus a Guatemalan ferry. So they're operating with a couple 75 outboard Yamaha motors. That's pretty interesting. See, they got a little baby ferry for the motorcycles. Over on this side. How much it costs? The cost for a motorcycle is five quetzales. Okay. The car, a small car like this, a pickup truck, is a 15 quetzales. The truck is 20 or, or 40 quetzales. For example, with this uh, uh, one cow truck, they have a long trailer, it's 100 quetzales because it's too heavy. And if they are transporting one trailer, uh, one trailer, carry on cows, sometimes they bring over 30 cows inside, it's too yeah, heavy. Yeah. And this ferry have capacity for transporting all of them. I think that is the coolest thing ever. I love it how the bucket spins with the motor. What is the neatest ferry that you've been on? What city and country? Tell us your adventure by commenting below. Uh, Sylvine again, what was the name of the city or the town that we're driving through right now? Sayakche. Sayakche. As you can see, we're starting to get into people with the traditional dress. And they are Kekchi Mayan group. So there is like a different tribe? Yes. Okay. Remember, 22 different Mayan groups in Guatemala, and they is one of them. One of them. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, interesting. It's like a half door. All right, tonight's room. We're at a bird sanctuary. Yeah. It's a farm. It's a farm. Yeah. Oh, we're at a farmhouse. It's not a farmhouse, it's just a farm. It's a natural reserve. Anyway, we got a twin bed, so that's a little bit different for us. Uh, 65 US dollars per night. We decided before we head to Coban this morning, we're gonna walk around our resort and check out the grounds. It's got a little river that goes around the whole place. You can rent a boat or- Hotel, finca, in Chihul. Chihul is the name of the farm. Look at here, this one is spider. Oh my god, that thing is scary looking. The spider web is very strong, but when it is more strong, they are catching more bigger insects. Yes. And that is the purpose, because they are more strong, more heavy. We call cameras, or we call tubos. Yeah, it's for oh, inner tubes. But this one is uh, for kayaking and <coughs> a small canoe. I guess those are paddle boards. Look yeah. at the color of the water. Yeah. Very pretty. I don't know if you can hear all the bird sounds along with the rooster, of course, but look how pretty this is. These are the boats that you can rent. So I was asking him why this is a natural reserve. He says that there's a like a forest ministry. Basically the owner of this benefits, I guess gets more money for keeping it protected. Oh, like, like a the tax trees break and stuff. or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, they keep it more trees because they grow in cacao, macadamia, coffee, cardamom is another good choice. Mm -hmm. For that they need 
big land for growing all the, all of yeah, them. Well, Chihul is very famous for the landscape yeah, because yeah. it's protected area too. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. now the people from this city they are looking for more quiet places, mm -hmm. better when the that's, inners, that's everybody in the, the world inners, inners in the nature, for example, to be more quiet. Yeah, that is the purpose. But Koban. You know the the weather is amazing. It's good. The majority of the time is chilly like this. Yes. Yeah. Oh, raining or 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 chippy chippy. Chippy chippy, chippy, chippy is, is, is misty rain. rain. Yeah, misty exactly. Rain. Misty rain. <laughs> <laughs> but another good benefit is they have fish here. Yeah, they can fish him. Yeah, oh, it's okay. another attractive for them. Yeah. For, for example, I'm here to be with one uh, weekend with your family. Very quiet. That is good. Yes. Good place. Good choice. Yeah. Yeah. You saw the heliport over there. Yeah, they have they have yeah. a heliport on but, the on the grounds. You can hear the airplane because we have a domestic flight from Guatemala City to Coban. For that is another good choice. It's uh -huh. most easy the connection now from Guatemala to here. Right. Yeah. So we learned that this is the monkey tail tree yesterday filming the orchard farm. Check out the card above. Oh, here they all come, Wayne. Oh, yes. you're like, because it's dinner. Like they come in to get uh, food. food, yeah. Food. <laughs> 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 it's hora uh, The deer and chicken reserve. Years. Do they raise them for food or? Use decoration on here because it's a farm. The chicken is for food. Oh, okay. Uh, the deer, no. They're all tiny. Normally, the white tail is, is, uh, is normal size, like this. This one is the older, oh. the older one. But they have the benefits to reproduction one for year. This one, one the same is family, but it's Chinese. Doing, Mr. The oldest deer is eight years. So they get their breakfast in the morning. They come out there and chop out a bunch of trees and feed the deers and put some corn out for the chickens. Well, the deer also eat the corn, I've noticed. Yeah. Baby, baby, chicky, you're so cute. now that we're in Coban, there's a lot of Mayans still wearing the, the tradi traditional clothing. And crossing the road here is quite dangerous, so be careful. This is the main square of Coban. You can buy that motorcycle of 9,000 quesadas, right? So that's uh, like almost 1,000 US dollars. For a brand new motorcycle. It's coming from China. China. Uh, yeah, more and more cheaper. Right, right. Harder to get parts to fix though, right? How much? A diez. Hay jengibre también. Hay jengibre aquí, hay ves. Jengibre. Qué chulo. Muchas gracias. Este es un cardamomo. If you guys are like us and you travel to another country and you're always a little embarrassed that you don't know just the basics speaking Spanish when you're there. A travel Spanish course teaches you quick phrases that you might need to know when you're traveling somewhere where Spanish is the dominant language to be more confident in your travels. If you guys are interested in the course that we're using, check out the link below. It is an affiliate link. I have no idea what I just purchased. Some Little candies, I think. We're gonna try them out in the car. This is the traditional candy that we purchased on the street. What's it called again? Dulce de cardamomo in Spanish. Cardamom candies is homemade. Cardamom candy. Yeah, it's very strong. I don't know if I know the cardamom Here. spice by flavor. Taste it. It's sweet. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's sweet, not cinnamon. But it's spicy. 
Yeah, it's, it's got a little... It's not a cinnamon. It's, it's or yeah. mint. It's a cardamom. It, yeah, but I don't know what cardamom is. But well, there you go. You've got it in your mouth. <laughs> it's almost a little clove-like. Yeah, it's aromatic. It's more aromatic. Yeah. It's like a jawbreaker almost. You can't really bite it. No. It's, it's, it's hard to rot. Mm. Yeah, you can't break it. You can... See all of the little mountain tops. They call this the Egg Box Mountains for like a carton of eggs. It's what the locals call the Egg Box Mountain. Why so you keep saying that? Oh, because it doesn't sound right. These are the guys harvesting the corn. Look at a little baby hanging out on the top of the truck. Baby? Yeah, look, he's like four years old. Oh, can they see me? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're exploring the city of Coban today. We're gonna go see a, a panaderia. Get some April sweet breakfast huh. with some bread. So what do you recommend? Like what's traditional? What, oh, yes. Sir. Traditional for I, us? I'll, and I can even have a piece of cake, so okay. I'm, I'm not afraid. This one is more <laughs> traditional for us. Yeah, this one. Um, this one, they have a different flavor, but the more sweet, and we, we eat it every day, is this type. What's that green stuff on the top of that? Uh, this one is uh, different. Uh, the yellow one is peach. Yes. This one is fig. Fig. Another one, another one is cherry. cherries. And the last one is apple. 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 Here in Guatemala, it's traditional for us between lunch and dinner, almost four, we are taking one coffee break. But and here we call refaction. Refaction, we drink one coffee cup and with sweet bread and we put on coffee to be wet and after when it's wet we we oh, okay. yeah for that we call cafe con pan okay. it's coffee with bread yeah okay. it's Guatemalan traditional what for is us this? we call pan yeah for the for the is style. there anything in it or just nope. the cinnamon sugar, sugar it's, on it it's nothing in the middle okay it's sugar bread yeah. oh and then sugar. what is that one it's a crystallized uh, uh, fruit in this case it's um dry fruit dry fruit dry fruit, dry fruit. With jelly. Jelly. With jelly. jelly jelly help i don't just know who. <laughs> it doesn't matter how you have many are. choice here so we have cake each one of these things came to a total of as 18 I think it's salad for six pieces, five pieces. Yeah. Which is two dollars and thirty-three cents US. Is, is that one? That's two, that's two. Mm -hmm. No no no, it's one. It's that's one. It's one. Oh my god, it's one. the thing's huge. <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> is it good? Mm. <laughs> it's like you said, thousand leaves. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. You've got to try it. The Cinnamon wine, the sweet. The white is the best because it's so sweet. Mm. <laughs> I have something similar to this with a layered pastry. I can't think of what it's called. A puff pastry or something like that with all the layers. But taste it. It's so fresh. It's light. Super yes. light. Mm. Oh my god. That Super, super light. It got all over your face too. <laughs> yeah, you can't help but wear it. And, but what's really nice about it is it's like biting into like heaven. Yeah. <laughs> like clouds. <laughs> like clouds. Yeah. It's so light and fluffy, it just melts in your mouth once it hits your saliva. Oh, this makes me so happy. Look at my giant goblet of juice. That is huge. <laughs> wow, it's huge. <laughs> oh. I love fresh orange juice. You gotta taste that. It's different tasting. It's more like mandarin orange juice. It, it's got a totally different flavor. Yeah. It's not like it's not like Florida orange juice. juice. No. Okay, we'll go with one of these next. This is like Christmas for me. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Oh. I got it. Just it smell it. It just smells you. like fresh bread, which is like one of the best smells. Yeah. I love the smell of fresh bread and I love the smell of uh, like pine trees. Okay. And the beach. Huh. The sweetness. And it's just a light hint of sweet that comes in. It just tastes like yummy fresh bread that is not too light and not too dense. Mm. I can see that being good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The coffee dip. Yeah. Not the double dip, just the dip. 
Mm. The yeah. flavor is changing. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, because it's absorbed the coffee, the coffee flower. Yeah. They are making fresh bread in the morning, early in the morning, and after to midday. What are we eating now? Mm. What is this we called? We call uh, corbata. Corbata is the name, but when you are using the top dress and you are you tie your shirt, it's uh -huh. like a like a and cravat. Yeah, a like a cravat. We call corbata. But corbata they have um, a dry fruit inside and jelly. It's very croissant-like. There's some uh, sugar on top. I'm just getting to the fruit now. It, it's pretty it's good with tasty. the fruit. Exactly. Is it fresh fruit or is it like candied it's, fruit? It's uh, like candy. Yeah, it's like candied it's like fruit. Candy because it's dry. Look how, look how fluffy it is. You know, again, super fresh. Not as tasty as that. Croissant with salty flavor. Oh. Yeah, maybe for that we fill in the train because and here you can buy boloban or croissant with jam, with beef or with jelly. Yeah, different right. different croissant. Easy to eat so many because they're so light and not super processed, well, yeah. fake flavor, yeah. sat, you know, just gobs of sugar everywhere. Yeah. Hola, April. ¿Cómo están? Hola. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Are you excited to see some orchids today? I really like orchids. Selvin's going to take you guys to the orchid farm, and so you guys will get to walk around, learn a little bit about plant, and hopefully see some flowers. And yeah, I hope that you enjoy it and just kind of take a moment in nature and are having a good time. Hasta pronto. Sounds good. Nos vemos. Muchas gracias. We want to thank you guys for watching our video all the way to the end. If you would, hit that subscribe button, share it with a friend, and like always, thank you for living life. If you want to see more about Guatemala, check out our series link in the description below.